do some Steam World dig here. I became a uh, a Twitch Prime uh, member, so you know I pretty much get got some of these new um, new games I can play, and this is one of them. Let me see here. I'm gonna have to plug up my controller. Give me a second here. Oh, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Alright. Now, I played this for a few minutes. Uh, like I said, um, being a tw Twitch Prime member now, I can, you know, get some of these things. And uh, get some of these games, and I want to start playing them, you know. So, yeah, let's uh, get into this. I played a few minutes of this. Um, I'll let y'all, let you guys watch this. If you haven't watched it, like I said, it looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of high end reviews. They're already on the second one, it's already out, like on Switch and everything else. Um, so yeah, I this looks like a good little like Dick Dug versus like a, a Metroidvania. Um, like I said, I, mean, I went through a few minutes of it, so well, I don't know much about it other than it's cool. You fall down this, you know, you fall down this thing, and that's how you do it. Okay, then yeah, it looks, it's got a neat little style. I've seen, like I said, I've seen the second one. It may get me into buying the second one. So you find your uncle. Sorry. Hmm. Now you had to take his big axe if you can't be far enough. Yeah, so it's interesting. Um, I kind of like it so far what I've played of this. Um, it don't look like it's going to be a very long game from what I've read, so... This could be one that I could knock out in a few sessions. So, yeah. Alright, so tunnel down below to get to it. Let me check something here on my stream. Uh, give me a second. I've got a setup tomorrow which is going to let me be able to um, let me have dual monitors so this is you know I got a laptop next to me here so it's, it's, it's a pretty good setup but I'll have a uh, dual monitor where I can truly take this you know uh, have a real a big monitor right here and reuse what I got so streaming should be a lot easier for me especially with my buddy Alright, now we gotta get down here. <clears throat> I've done this before. I should do over here. A lot easier just to go straight down. Alright. Flip the switch and then we can both get out. Alright. And of course, you got, I like wall jumping. Pretty neat. They've only seen a little bit of enemies here, like a few minutes into it, and they weren't anything to write home about, so. And this is where you get to come out, and game save. Bring back ore, so pretty much just tell you what to do, we gotta bring back ore, sell it, mine some precious stone. So I got, I know I'll go to this guy, and he'll give me a pickaxe, like I said, I only did a few minutes of this. So we gotta get some ore. All right. Tr 
trash you. <laughs> Wish I could turn my trash into stones. Now as you see here, as you start breaking stuff, you saw that little guy over there. He'll he'll start breaking free. I think it's the shockwaves. It breaks them free. I noticed that the first time. So I don't know if he thinks it'll be super difficult. It may be. We'll have to see. Crap. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to dig it a little different here. There's that other stuff you can't dig into yet. Wink, wink. Okay, I can go down here. There we go. Took a little damage, okay. Okay, now I can sell my loot. Get out of here. So I can't get hit when I break them out like a whoop. Okay, I sell to him. Alright. Sharp pickaxe and go over here to buy that. So let's see here. Yep. Take a hard dirt. Okay, you might want to check it out. Here's a bit feisty. Okay, so basically get to the cave. So this is pretty much where I got to. Now this stuff, like it says, it looks like stone. It has a little bit of a texture to it. You can't get through with this. Okay. Instant. One shot. Wow, I killed him real quick. But this stuff right here, you see, don't look like this up here. That's the new stuff I can get to. So now we're going this way. All right. It seems like on this map over here, you could probably, my, my photo's probably in the way, but down there's a 4X and a 5X. So I'm getting a little lower, I'll start, I guess, getting more experience. We'll figure that out. I, this is exactly where I got to before, so I don't know what's going to happen next, folks. Can't break that. I block myself in. Ooh, thank goodness that's health. <laughs> well, at least I found it here. We got a cave. Let's go in here. Mm -hmm. Ah. Interesting. Oh, okay. Pretty much like, almost like disappearing blocks in Mega Man. Kinda. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's gonna be real nice tomorrow when I can do dual module. I got like a laptop here, so. But I can see the chat, so if anybody's here. Oh, okay. Interesting. Speed boost. Okay. Ah.
pretty neat. Say we run. Much, uh... There we go. I was making it difficult. He's telling us to go back up, so I'm gonna go back up and probably sell some of this loot or tell somebody I figured, that guy I figured out I found the cave. The whole point is I think you can get lower and lower in here, so I think it's like uh, unique. How, it's because of how I dug, so maybe it remembers it. That's kind of cool. He was up to a natural stuff. I was standing that I get. He met with some weird stuff he did. And then he stacked some of it here with me. Weird glowing stuff. First you can stack them on top of each other and get out. Ah! Okay. So pretty much just... I think I'm just going to hold back, right? I gotta just keep going. I like this. I can see why people liked it. So, you know, it's got good reviews. It was actually on the 3DS, it's on the Switch. When I get into this, I might actually pick up just the second one, see how people like it. So they stay in their own little thing. Okay. Hmm. 
feet. I don't know if I can get up there yet or not, but I'm gonna try a couple more times. I don't think I can yet. Some people may be see, may watch this. I don't think I can yet. I bet you get like a super jump or a lot longer jump. All right, we'll come back to that. I should have known that. Got killed. Wow. I was just too busy into the. Doo -doo. Ah. So it looks like it took all that. That well. Oh well. Live and learn. I should. I was about to say that's going to crush me, and then I didn't pay attention. I'm going to go. If I can go down through. Ooh, okay. I can't drop that much. And right there was okay. I did get some light. Okay, good. Melee to this is kind of sucky. But I know you're just doing using your pickaxe.
got no clue what that is, but I'm jumping over it. Steam jump, there you go, the long jump. Wrong button. Again, I don't know how to beat that guy without just standing and <laughs> face taking him. Really? Oh, so I just lost that. Great. fighting them like that. made that a lot harder than it needed to be. Alright, now that we didn't screw it completely up, 
I want to get up here and come back to that long jump, but I do. I'll get back up to town so I don't die again. Okay, that is so awkward. Seriously! That's just bullshit. And I have to do all this over again, don't I? Oh, I guess I don't. That's just so awkward. You can't... Oh, I wish the, the, the attacking is just shit in this game. But, I mean, it's a good game, but I'm already finding that as a pain in the ass. Let's back in here to figure stuff out. No? That bar is still going around. Now can we do all that some sort of map? Do he smart something on Back into the line. Yeah, the jumping is pretty good, but like in that situation there, there's probably an easier way to do it, but... It's so awkward. Kill this SOB over here, see if I can get some health. There we go. So that I got some fire. Just keep on going down. I want you to go way out down Wow! That is just cheesy.
Yes, nothing. Good grief. All right, here we go, all the way back down again. This is one of these trial and error ones. That's maybe what takes it so long. So maybe I, I'm good at this. I could be good at this game. Maybe I could just. I'm sucking at this game. We'll have to find out. Yeah, I didn't die right there. I didn't have to kill myself. Let's keep on going. Ugh. So basically, I'm going to have to go all the way around this thing because there's a beat them damn things. That is just ridiculously stupid. Uh, shut up, bitch. That is becoming pretty damn irritating. Plus, I'm not supposed to fight them. I'm supposed to avoid them, but I'm trying my damnedest. Okay, let's try it again. This may not be one of these games that I can do worth a damn. I'm okay with saying that I suck at some of these games. And maybe it's just one of these you do a lot of trial and error of dying and find the best route. So see, I blocked them in. Maybe that's it. I I guess it's just one of those you die and Oh my god, they want you to melee with a damn pickaxe. This is, this is, I don't think, this may be part one, this may be, yeah, this is a big bag of note for me. This is not my game. You have to melee stuff, what's stronger than you with a pickaxe. This is the the style of die 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 and keep redoing it i'm not really happy with that and yeah we'll see here i may just have to redo the thumbnail i had crazy there's no part one it's just like yeah I'd... oh well i don't know 
I'll just like... I guess it is a lot of trial and error, folks, but... Some people like that, maybe... Maybe it's just the style. I'm getting close to wherever I'm supposed to go. So maybe that's just kind of the point of it. Find the best route down and try, try, try. Or should I say die, die, die. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Oh my god, this is painful. break this stuff up and I bet you have to get huh. you may have to come in with better stuff I really do hope there's a way to fucking fight some of these things but they're beyond irritating Kill it just took. I don't know why couldn't I kill it before? Maybe I panic. That's possible that I panic. Well, then, maybe it's not such a hopeless endeavor to play this game. <laughs> There's a slight delay in hitting them, that's what makes it so damn difficult. Because you're swinging that damn thing. I think that's why I'm getting hit. Alright. Let me check the screen here real quick, folks. Um, about 40 minutes. We'll uh, keep on streaming for a little bit longer. Ah. 
Retro Sports Gamer, how are you doing? Uh, playing Steam World Dig for a little bit. I've been going for about 40 minutes. Um, my per first play at it, it's, eh, it's tolerable. <laughs> Not sure how I will, um, if I'm going to be able to keep playing it or not. I thought I pretty much sucked at the game, but it's not that bad, I don't think. You need light. Well, I can't help it. Uh, I gotta figure out this. Oh. Well, I guess I'm down to this. It's it's all it's like I said. It was I went to Twitch Prime and it's free on Twitch Prime if you got Twitch Prime. Um, it's kind of like Dig Dug with Metroidvania. I mean, yeah, it's all right. It's um, irritating, slightly irritating. It's got some weirdness to it. Uh, I've been getting a Poly Mega of pre-orders. I don't think I will. I'm really not looking forward to. Well, I can't beat that up. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I, I would like to see some real reviews. You know, the, watching um, ah, shit. Um, RGT85, he's talking about a nice little device that allows you to play your old retro game. I wouldn't, ah, I wouldn't mind something that plays the CD-based games and all this and upscales and, you know, does all that. But I think I want more of a, I've seen what they, they supposedly were doing at the shows. I think they can do well. I just hope they're not smoking mirrors like uh, the Atari box, which that seems to be smoking mirrors. That you, if you haven't heard, you know Atari box. You know uh, what was it? Uh, um, you know Tempest 4000 wasn't really running on our stuff. If you remember that, I, I don't know. Are you getting one? I know you're a retro gamer, especially for sports. Are you thinking about getting it? up here with the asshole. These guys are a pain. Okay, well that's good. I mean, I know you'll have some, uh, I know they showed it some E3 and it looked good. I just, I guess I'm very wary of any of these consoles you know what I mean I I think they do have some real hardware that's going to be good I'm just very wary of doing anything like that. Um, though I know if you're getting it and a lot of people like probably probably bigger other youtubers want to uh, get it they're going to review it right so that's going to be something I probably will be looking forward to reviewing it viewing your channel or whoever's got it, you know, and see all the opinions to see if it's actually worth it. Because I know it's going to be reviewed like crazy by all, by all the gamers. Because if it's good, looking forward to uploading my SNS library and streaming from my couch with a few button presses. Now that would be interesting. I mean, if they really just make it kind of like a retro uh, streaming box and... Or like I say, a, a red, like a box that allows you to do all these sorts of things. I could see that. I just hope that you know something comes of it. Which, again, Coleco Chameleon, Retro VTS, <laughs> the Sega Spartan, too many whatevers. So 
maybe it's not fair to lift them all up together in, but you know, we've all seen a bunch of bullshit come out. But they do have a working prototype, so what systems are you most looking forward to playing on the Polymega? Okay, you can stream both of them. That will be interesting as... I mean, I'm, I'm starting to do now some streaming. More of my buddy and I are streaming. We're going to start streaming together. Oh, they kill each other. Um, I'm just going to be streaming, uh, Twitch, just to be honest. You see, let me see here, get to a point where this guy's not. Sega CD, never had one and don't want to spend her, yeah. Uh, Sega CD might be something I'd like to play, um... Neo Geo CD would be interesting. Um. Oh well, I died trying to beat, I hate those guys. And I don't even know if I have to try again. Oh, I have to do all of this again. Great. I know where two of these are. I don't have to do work so hard. Why I don't want to stream to YouTube is... Well, they're... You know, if I want to start streaming Nintendo games, Nintendo's going to try to copyright it. It seems like on Twitch, there's not that much. That's why a lot of streamers are on Twitch. Uh, YouTube has not really been that kind to me. I've been demonetized. Um, I'm not really happy with YouTube and it comes down to the fact that, well, seems like Twitch is a better place. I'd rather, you know, I can always export everything. All, this video, all of them are going to YouTube with a, with a simple export button. And there's a lot more streaming, like uh, streaming uh, abilities and Features you can get on Twitch is the place to stream to me, but that's just my opinion. I just I'm not really looking. I don't feel like I can do as be, as good on streaming on YouTube, and I don't want to have to worry about Nintendo or somebody copyright right because people stream anything they want to on Twitch, and really nobody gives a crap. So. And, I, and again, I can always uh, export all my videos and turn around and just get, you know, just do that. Yeah, I built a nice base and I, the thing about it is, is I'm not going to abandon them because I'm simply going to upload all my stuff here. I'm, I may start doing some more videos, but I can't do the RGP 85 and stuff and keep up with people because... You know, I can't, I can't keep up with all that because I don't, see, I don't get any views sometimes, and I'm, I'm not saying that I like, you know, RGK five and their, um, uh, the content. I just think, you know, a little YouTuber like myself can't just make those videos and get the, the views. But I'm not going to abandon my people over there. I'm still going to make some videos. What I want to do, I can stream here. And if people don't have the time to watch me live, I will always export everything to YouTube. And YouTube will keep everything 
as long as it's there, because Google has this massive amount of storage, I think Twitch will get rid of some stuff over time. I could be wrong. So yeah, I, I'm not going to abandon YouTube, but uh, for streaming, I'll rather do Twitch and just keep keep um, uh, you know uploading or exporting, I should say, my streams over there. Yeah, yeah, and think about it is, is I if you look at my um, my views, I've had even back when I was two or three hundred uh, subscribers, I had I had stuff when I was covering the retro VGS, literally ten thousand views or a few thousand or a couple thousand. I've had some videos that just went nuts for me. So and I don't ever understand the art the algorithm either. It feels like the algorithm is just there to screw you. You know what I mean? I just don't understand it. And the next time I upload something and I can't get anywhere. And I, I can't, that's not, a, that's not a way to do things. At least to me it's not. So my buddy and I have been talking about streaming and playing games. We goof off and play games together. He's getting set up. We've already just done some Portal 2. Um, we've done some Borderlands too. We got some stuff to play. It's just going to be something that we can have fun with, and I think that's exactly what I need to do. You know, just do your own content. You do the sports games, which is something you love, and it's not just. I I, I think there's too many cookie cutter of us that love that, that have our opinions on stuff. But you're right. You have to be out there instantly. I mean, look at Alpha Omega Sin. If you ever watched him, he's a you know. He doesn't even already do videos anymore. He streams. Because he probably got tired of keeping up with stuff. And he's a lot bigger fan base. Yeah, they're not sharing stuff. And they're also just, their algorithm just shit. They demonetize me, which affected my ability to get stuff out there. And they, you know, they sit there and say, oh, there it is. Wow, I went past that a whole time and I fucking died. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, they say, oh, demonetizing you, and that's okay. Yeah, but you're not going to push me out there. And they lie and say, oh, yeah, you're going to get pushed out there. You're not. YouTube is about making money. I know Twitch is about making money. They want to make money off you. But in Twitch, you don't have Nintendo say, you can't do that. They just, as long as it's not probably like pornography and crap like that. They're not going to stop you. I don't. I don't hear people have problems. Yeah, his rants got a little out of hand. I have. I have to say, he got a little bit like. But he has some good points. Oh, finally I got to this. But you're right, he was a little too angry for angry's sake, and I guess maybe he, maybe people started calling him out on that and said, you know, this is enough, just, just stop. Though I still follow him on Twitter and everything. I think I'm going to get back to the town here and I'm going to call this, because I'm actually doing better than I thought. I thought I was going to have to call, oh, I'm going to get this up here. call the string plus I wasn't doing very good at this game but I think I'm getting a hang of it it's a little challenging oh shit now I'm getting into it oh oh do you get the change Ah, you only could do that with, with water. 
Gotcha. Interesting. Okay, he's not gonna fall off the edge. There's some water. Yeah, I think I got off subject when I was talking here. I was like, uh, I didn't know how this drill worked, but um, yeah, Alpha Omega Sin is a good guy. I think it's just that maybe he got too over, his, you know, too overly. Holy crap! I've got to be as loud as possible. I like to, I like to look at some of his stuff. Uh, let's see how far this stream has gone. We're about at an hour, so this has done pretty good. Yeah, a lot, of stuff, a lot of channels did, man, because they decided, well, you're not good enough to make money. So the, the whole point is, if you're not making money, oh, this allows me to, interesting. Let me do this real quick. Okay, yeah, like I said, I'm going to end this stream here, but I, to talk about what the last thing you were talking about, uh, Retro Sport Gamer, yeah, the thousand subs was a, a double-edged sword. Uh, when you got demonetized, you were in the same algorithms, and if you're not in the same algorithms, you're screwed. But they said, just keep working, you'll get, make a thousand subs. I was at, I'm in the 840s for, oh, for maybe seven, eight, nine months now. Even before I got demonetized, I can't gain any subs. And there's glitches. People, I just, I've lost subs. There's no rhyme or reason I lose subs. I upload videos and I get, and I get emails that I gain subs. And I know people uh, unsub because they want to. That's fine. But we lose subs for no apparent reason. And it's this why it makes me just sick of YouTube. And this right here, streaming to Switch, is what I think I'm going to have fun with. And then I'm going to just export everything over and just keep playing stuff. And then when I have a really something I want to make a video on, I could dump it over there. So anyway, I am going to end this part one of Steam World Dig. I do appreciate uh, Retro Sport Gamer um, being in my chat. Go over and find his, uh, his uh, YouTube and his Twitch. He streams on Twitch. He's got a YouTube uh, channel as well, and he does a lot of sports games. I do appreciate him talking to me. And uh, I guess I will let you guys go. And uh, tomorrow, I'm going to have a dual monitor set up. I got a laptop here. You'll see me tab out of here and do and turn off OBS. And you won't have to see that no more. I'm going to have a better setup. This is going to be interesting. All right, everybody. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, PKO Gamer, out.